It's time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 1051 The Buzz joining us live. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. Morning. Good morning. All right, uh, Ryan Reynolds, as if he, he wasn't rich enough, he's cashing in again. What has he done? <laughs> His company, Mint Mobile, just sold for over a billion dollars. Wow. wow. So he was acquired by T-Mobile, and they paid $1.35 billion for the company. This is the same one that back over in the holidays, they were sending customers signed headshots of Ryan. He's kind of been the face of the company. But Mike and I were doing some Googling right before we jumped on here with you, and he doesn't get the full $1.34 billion. Okay. Uh, it's going to bring his net worth up to about $300 million. He was just a partial owner in it. But still, I've got about $15. If he <laughs> wants to invest that for me, I feel like he's very lucky right now between this and then Aviation Gin a couple years ago. Well, maybe mm -hmm. you should switch your phone plan over to Mint Mobile, Liz. You could save, save <laughs> a bucks. Right, because I think that's they they build themselves as like a like a cost friendly right like a phone company, and I've seen him in all the ads, but I didn't realize that he was also a part owner. Oh, I didn't know he's a part owner. So that's the thing that, that he does is that yeah. he, he he buys a stake in a company, whether it's like Aviation or Mint Mobile, but he's his own brand, so he gets to right. bring that to the table. The company builds off that, becomes successful because he's Ryan Reynolds, and then he gets to just cash out and like just make make his he's, money and walk away, which is phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly. exactly what he does, and he keeps doing it over and over and over again, and it is incredibly hard not to root for Ryan Reynolds. He's did it with that soccer team they made a Netflix oh. documentary about or something. Yeah, Rexham. Like, uh -huh. Gin, Mint Mobile. Whoever his investment team is is incredibly smart, and I need to be a part of it because whatever I'm doing is just not working. <laughs> I, I think a lot of it is just him because he's his brand. He could just walk into a room and just be like, I'm Ryan Reynolds. I right. want some of this. Have you ever heard the story about how he got signed on to aviation? He he had a he had a drink made with it, right? Yep. He thought it was so good. And 10 minutes later, he uh, had a partial buy in it. <laughs> it's like he just it, it, it's incredible. He had a Negroni. Had some of it and and decided like oh I really want to I'm interested in this gin this looked it up great. it's aviation from Portland wow. and he made some phone calls and he was involved so what what, That's what the Travis story is, yeah well, so what <laughs> Travis is saying here is we need to invent something that Ryan Reynolds loves so much he comes in. And, and Papa Ryan just funds our Script business. Script for Deadpool 4. Yeah, We're putting it together. Okay. All right. <laughs> he, he listens to 105 won the buzz in the morning. Liz and Mike, like, that would be enough for me just once. Just one yeah. time. Yeah. All of it. I love oh, it. Oh, man. We, calling on Ryan Reynolds. We need you to be an angel investor. We don't know in what. We'll figure <laughs> we'll, that we're out. We're going to figure that out. But just give us a call. Man, if somebody's going to win, though, he's a fun one to watch win. He's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, uh, now to another equally likable celeb. I, I love her. Drew Barrymore. You know, she's she's killing the talk show game now. She's doing big things on daytime, and she's got a new hosting gig. Yeah, she's hosting the 2023 MTV TV and Movie Awards. Uh, I did not know that these were even still happening, but it's going down in just a couple months. And she is very <laughs> qualified because she's received three popcorns herself. Nice. And I remember back in the day as a millennial, like when they did the MTV Movie Awards or the VMAs or whatever, it was like an event. You watched it. They replayed it 30,000 times and it played on all the channels. And I feel like the last few years, there hasn't been that big of a pop. Yeah. So maybe Drew Barrymore could bring some excitement to it. Bring out all her famous friends, like kind of push on them to be like, oh, we need you in the audience. No mm. seat fillers. I'm, I'm trying to think, do you think it's, I mean, all award shows have kind of seen a little bit of a decline, but I'm also right. wondering if it's just the fact that like, we are getting older and now some of the celebs who might be at the MTV Awards are not the celebrities that we know about <laughs> or care about. No. This is the perfect time for MTV to do a complete rebrand. We all grew up with it when they played music videos. Now all they play is ridiculousness and catfish. It's on the channel 24-7. <laughs> yeah. But bringing Drew Barrymore in and reminding us that there is a movie awards that we all used to watch towards the end of the school year, that's kind of got me hooked. And they could bring us back. I don't think they're bringing Drew Barrymore to get Gen Z to watch. That's the like, thing. I don't think they're trying to bring in the young people. I think they're trying to hit us in our nostalgia feels because I don't think that it is that they're getting, you know, trendy young celebrities off of TikTok and different places. I think they're getting nobody. Yeah. So they're yeah. like, well, and even, we used to even if they ring. were, I don't know who any of those kids are, truly. Right, like, right. It's a red carpet these days where I'm like, I don't know. These no, people. I, Liz, you said exactly what I was thinking. We're like, like to, to this point, like, we're all millennials, older millennials, and, yeah. and Mike, like, Drew. Barrymore is like right in our wheelhouse versus Gen Z. Like, yeah. 
They don't yeah. know who she is, that's probably. Shape, Smart move with Drew. Yeah, 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 no, I wouldn't write at you. So MTV <laughs> Movie Awards, so that's the popcorn, and then the VMAs is the astronaut. The Moon Man. Yeah, the Moon that's Man. That's the one that Miley twerked at, the last That's memorable. right. Okay. okay. Oh, now that's I remember. That's the last time I watched it, too. Yeah, okay. That's how us old identify when we last watched it. I know award shows by the uh, awards they give out. Oh, that's yeah. hysterical. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Bye. Don't forget you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. All right.